Let's jump over to some cam. <clears throat> it's going to be a short cam one, but this is from Lars. So, hey, Lars. Um, love your video series. Most helpful. Could you say a few words on cam for odd shaped stock? Um, think of an L shaped part where most of the starting block shaped stock may have been cut away to save machining time. And all we want to do is to finish up the edges. Yes, that is a great question, Lars. Um, let's jump in here and just uh, take a look at that. Uh, so first of all, um, let's model up our finished shape. Something that looks like an L maybe. Hit L for line and let's just draw up L for Lars. <laughs> kind of funny, Lars. It's funny because in Scandinavia, Lars is not a very un common name. Um, so let's just extrude this up and say that this is um, our part that we got to machine around. Um, and if you um, if you are like me and Lars, <laughs> then you might decide that I am not going to, um, to, to take a square block uh, to machine around this. I'm going to take a, a, a chainsaw, <laughs> a chop saw, and I'm going to chop around and Kind of an L shape shape. So by default, right now, if we go into a cam and uh, we throw a, uh, a a tool path on it, you will see that we automatically the stock shows up here. So if we said okay to that and we went in and for example did a contour operation, select the tool, metric tool. I don't know what shapes I made things here. Let's just machine around the shape there, like that. There's a tool path. Now when we go to simulate this. Um, simulates and we turn the stock on then we kind of see that it does this and uh, that is okay until things get a little complicated maybe and then it kind of seems silly to look at it like this so there's different ways uh, to do this but this is actually how I do this many times let me just uh, jump back into the design workspace is that I will actually make another model from the original model and then just call that my stock and then maybe just make a couple of changes to it. So you can click on your finished model because this is what we want to machine and you can just do a control C, control B and you literally end up with another body. Now when you do this, it actually in, in, initiate, initiate, initiate gates and <laughs> it starts the move command up here. Um, so now we have it, but it just cancel, just, well, hit okay to that. Now what we have is two bodies on top of each other, identical. So what I do is I slow left click on body two and I rename it stock, okay? Now if I just left it right here, really meant that when I'm simulating, I'm not gonna see any material taken off. So let me just show you that. Go to the sign, back into manufacture. Now manufacturer has noticed that something changed. So that's why it's giving us a warning. Um, Notice that you can always, let me just regenerate this. Uh, notice that you can, oh, I deleted it instead. Jesus. Right click, generate. Notice that whenever you do a toolpath, you can always right click and you can go in and you can protect it or lock it down. I actually do that many times. So if you go back and make changes to your models, you don't have to worry about regenerating it. Now, what we're now going to do is we're going to right click on the setup and then if you go into stock we can switch from relative stock to from solids and now it actually let us pick some solid body so if we up here if you click on the model up here and we expand everything out there is our stock model so if we click on that and hit ok right now that's what it will use when we now go up and simulate now, because those two are the same size right now, um, we're not gonna see any difference. Like nothing is getting removed. But again, just like before, when it was just a square, might be, you might be happy about that. Um, I'm not though. I do like to see that it actually removed some material. So let's go back into, now I still have this one locked, so we don't have to update that again. The sign, um, let's go back in and just hide on the eyeball there that is now not a light ball anymore now it's an eye uh, we could just hit q right now and we could actually add 
uh, a little bit of material. So maybe we, we decided we're going to make it one millimeter bigger um, on uh, some sides, for example. That could be, I don't know if we can select multiple sides, actually. Let's try that. If we select multiple sides and hit Q, then we can. So we could add another millimeter just to those sides. And we could select all the way around. Um, let's just hit it just, just to those sides. So now the stock is actually three mil uh, one millimeter bigger on each side. Now, if we turn it back on again, you can kind of see that actually on the model, right? On those sides. So now if we go back into manufacture, because I, I locked it uh, or protected it, then you, you don't have to regenerate anything. But if we go into simulate now, we will see um, that here's another trick. Instead of holding pressing play, hold down your left mouse button and start moving your cursor. And you can actually, if you didn't know that, there's another little thing. Now, so we don't see anything on these sides, but we will as soon as you come over here. Right now, you can actually see. Now, we actually see the stock. Um, so turn that off. But now we can see that, um, that little thing there. You didn't know that whole thing about holding your left mouse button down and drag your mouse to see your simulation in cam. Right now, somebody is ready to buy me a beer, I think, because that's one of the best. You shouldn't buy me the beer. Buy somebody on the uh, development team because I didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> but I showed you. Uh, so, so, yeah, that's how I would attack that. No, you can do that. There's a many different ways you can do things in here with stock. And we can talk about that in another time, Lars. But that is, um, that's what I will do. So I hope that that was, uh, I hope that was useful. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. That's okay. <laughs> Leave a comment. Um, truly appreciate you guys sending in the, the, the questions. And I hope that this just adds some more value to your Fusion Free 60 experience.